The tools we currently use against tuberculosis are outdated. There are three diagnostic tests. They're old and don't work well. A skin test, a chest x-ray, and a laboratory examination of sputum from the bronchi. Each one has its drawbacks, imprecision, slowness, and difficulty. A new diagnostic test has been available since 2011. Results are available in two hours, and it can detect both tuberculosis and resistance to the main antibiotic. But we're still far from the ideal diagnostic test. For example, a, a rapid, reliable blood or urine test to be able to treat quickly, to interrupt transmission, and to save the patient. With regard to treatment, doctors have been using the same drugs for the last 50 years. Treatment for regular tuberculosis is long and difficult to follow. Four antibiotics every day for six to nine months. And for patients with resistant tuberculosis, it's a nightmare. Two years of treatment with a cocktail of oral and injectable antibiotics with a range of difficult side effects. All this for a one in two chance of being cured. For the doctor, it's a real challenge to motivate patients to continue treatment. I've been taking all these drugs for nearly seven years. I know them all by heart. And I know the side effects of each drug. Even now, I still have nausea and dizziness when I take the drugs. But now, it's manageable. I'm joyful now. I'm happy with my family, my children, my neighbors. Everyone should be part of their community. I'm young. I'm 60 years old. I'm still a useful part of my community. There is, however, hope on this bleak horizon. Clinical trials are ongoing for two new anti-tuberculosis medications, bedaquiline and alaminid. In 2015, they were prescribed to 2,600 patients with multidrug resistant tuberculosis in 16 countries. These two new drugs bring hope for shorter, less toxic, and more effective treatment. <laughs> 